Welcome to the first episode of Plant Shift Tutorial. In this episode, we will be exploring the taking off process of concrete slab, material analysis, and also creating a template in order to fast track our future work process. A concrete slab is a common structural element of modern buildings, consisting of a flat, horizontal surface made of cast concrete. They are typically between 100 and 500 mm thick. But before we dive into today's video, if you find my content helpful, kindly subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so as to get notified anytime I drop a new video. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into today's video. But in this tutorial, I'll be making use of concrete mix grade 15 with a mix ratio of 1 ratio 2 ratio 4. That is, 1 head pan of cement, 2 head pans of sand, and 4 head pans of aggregate, be it gravel or granite. So, before we get into the measurement proper, let's do a quick recap of what to achieve at the end of this tutorial. 1. We'll be getting the total quantity of concrete required for this floor slide. 2. We'll be getting the total number of materials required for this work. That is, the total number of cement in bags sand in tons and aggregate in tons so with that being said let's get into the measurement so i'm going to be activating my template so from there we measure and then we go back to creating our own template so first thing first let's see the thickness of the slab from here we have 175 mm thick slab now that we have the measurement so i'll come to concrete work floor slab so i'm going to activate it so it's asking me so i'll write so i'm going to rename this as ground floor slab floor slab 175 mm thick so the thickness here i'm going to be putting in meter 0.175 so i'm press ok so i'll locate the first point so this is my first point here i'll click the first point and i'll move along this is another point here i'm going to click another point i'll click here so you can zoom in and zoom out in order to be made to make it convenient for you so this is another point here i have another point here's another point i have another point at this junction here's another point another point create another point click so this is the last point here we don't have to go back to the region just double click on the last point right click anywhere and press stop now we have our quantity if you check this area we have 43.8 cubic meters so let's show legend now we have the total quantity of our measurement that's 43.8 cubic meters so now let's check the total material needed so I'm going to click on this. If you check this side, you will see cement in bags 277.33 bag. That's EA is each. That's bag. Aggregate, we have 64.78 tons. And sand, we have 30.64 tons. Don't forget, we are making use of a concrete grade 15, which has 1 ratio 2 ratio 4. So if you check the total number of materials needed for 1 cubic meter, we can also do that. So I'll activate this again. I'm going to, this is 1 meter. I'll press okay so i'm going to highlight just one cubic meter in order to get the total number of materials required so one this is one and also one so i have one cubic meter if you check here i have one cubic meter material needed we have 6.46 bags of cement aggregate 1.51 tons sand is 0.71 tons if you check the right of the system you see it correlates with what you have on your manual calculation or you can check online and see the same now that we have gotten the total quantity in cubic meter and total number of materials required now let's move on to creating a template which you can use for further work so now i'm going to come to template now come here new tab just name it anything that you want on create press ok so you can open a folder a new folder which is going to house your template so i'm creating a new folder here let me just say concrete work concrete work and press ok now we we'll come here new area we select new area so you name it lab or anything you are trying to create templates for so you select any color of your choice and press ok to have this save so you come on it and right click properties you click advance now we have our measurement in square meter so we want to change it to cubic meter when we measure the length and breadth of our plan so we multiply by thickness so in order to have our cubic meter so let's add the thickness just make sure your item is under estimating so you can either put thickness or depth anyone you want press ok so just try and come here and move it up you select the unit as meters you come here you click multiply and you click on this and drag to this point 
don't forget to change the unit the cubic meter just make sure you tick this area in order for the template to ask you anytime you activate it the thickness so it's, you know most of the plan thickness are not the same so just make sure you have this tick and you can also turn off some of this so you form layout this is our form layout then you come here to show unit you select this anytime you try to activate your template is going to ask you what's the thickness you press ok and ok now we are done with our slab so we need to create for materials so now you come to new part select material and you know our concrete comprises of cement sand and aggregate so let's create for cement first the new item just name it cement and press ok property advanced so here we need a few things in order to achieve what we, what we set out to achieve number one the mix ratio the group should be under estimating the density of cement cement density you press ok bag per kg the total number the total number of kg in a bag ok we add cement total cement total ok now we are done with that so let's try and rearrange it let's move this up ratio cement density move it up bag per kg move it up cement total so we move it up so let's try and fill this don't forget we are making use of one ratio two ratio for when you add them together that's seven one divided by seven so we have that what's the density of our cement 1440 what is the total kg in a bag that's 50 kg so cement total so one more thing on that ratio we need to multiply this by 1.54 so where is the 1.54 coming from this is coming from when you apply water to dry mix, a dry concrete mix, the volume of the dry concrete mix is reduced by 54%. So we need 1.54 cubic meter of dry mix to get 1 cubic meter of wet concrete mix. I hope you understand that. So for every of our material, we'll be multiplying by 1.54 because we are converting from wet state to dry state. I hope you understand that. So now cement total equals to cement density multiplied by ratio so let's put into bracket bracket divided by bag per kg so now we have the total number of cement in one cubic meter so quantity here our quantity is going to be cement total multiplied by just click these three dots and press click insert property so here we are going to be selecting the quantity of our slab click on slab you come to the right and make sure you click quantity and press ok ok again now we are done with cement you press ok to have it save new part material sand ok so you right click again properties advanced so we are going to be adding few properties to this in order to achieve what we set out to achieve one let's add ratio okay two sand density you press okay you add property again sand total in kg in kg add another property sand total in tons you press okay so let's try and arrange them our ratio move it up sand density move it up again in order to make it more easier that's why we are trying to arrange sand total in kg sand total in tons don't forget we are making use of a mixed ratio of 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 so it's going to be 2 divided by 7 multiplied by 1.54 sand density 1600 so sand total in kg is going to be sand density multiplied by ratio our mixed ratio so sand total is going to be sand total in kg divided by 1000 now we are done so our quantity is going to be sand total in tons multiplied by don't forget to click on these three dots search property you come to slab and select quantity okay okay and don't forget to put the unit here the unit is going to be tons here is going to be number ea here is going to be kg per meter cube it's going to be kg here and here also is going to be tons so you click okay now we are done with sand Come to new part again select material it okay you click on it property advanced so we are going to be adding few property to it one so we add ratio as usual enter sorry we need to put it under estimating okay we add aggregate density okay aggregate total in kg okay aggregate total in tons in tons okay so let's try and rearrange this 
mix ratio aggregate you move it up aggregate in kg you move it up and lastly aggregate in tons so let's try and fix you know we are making use of one ratio two ratio which is going to be four divided by seven multiplied by one point five four that was set to kg aggregate density one thousand six eighty total in kg aggregate density multiplied by mix ratio in tons aggregate total in kg divided by 1000 so now quantity is going to be aggregate in tons multiplied by click the three dot insert property select slab quantity okay okay then don't forget to put the unit tons ea as a number kg per meter cube per meter cube this is kg and also this is tons so the last step to take is just to select all these materials and come here and move right the reason why we are doing this whenever we measure the total quantity of our slab the system will automatically activate this material and after you complete the process you have the total material on one side so now we're done with creating our template so let's template out and see what we have i'm going to be hiding this activate the thickness don't forget 0 0.175 okay I'm going to be selecting from this point to this point, point again, select this point, this point, this point again, another point here, another point, double click and right stop. If you look toward this side now, we have the number of cement 276.7 for the approximately 277 bags, sand 30.55 as 31 tons, aggregate 64.60 tons, approximately 65 tons. So let's see what we have here 65 31 277 if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like share comment and subscribe until when next i'll be coming your way you're welcome <music>